Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Hey, I've been out here messing with the lathe a little bit. Been a long time since I've been out here. Hey, it's a little cooler today. It's not in an closer to 100. Alright, so it's like going to be 80 today. I think I can handle it for a little while. And we're working with the my MX210. And uh, anyway, this is the second part on that six jaw chuck. I got it mounted up. I got it all marked out to where, you know, I know what jaw goes in what slot. And um, I've been working on the DRO for the tail stock. And what else we've been doing here? All kinds of things. Anyways, I wanted to show you this six jaw. I'm impressed. And hopefully y'all will be too. Let's turn it on. That's the needle movement I get. Turn it to zero. Let's shut it off. And we will zero it out best we can here. Right there, zero. Turn it on. That's the movement I get. I'm using an old um, anvil. And uh, there's a few little lines in the end of it, you know, where it's gotten uh, grabbed on. But uh, let's try moving her up just a little. There we go. Let's see what happens now. Not the same. No, that's that's a good chuck right there. I am really impressed. I made an offer for ninety bucks on it, and uh, the guy took it. I'm assuming it was a guy, but anyway, the company took it. But uh, I really like that six jaw. That is that is sweet. I got a three jaw, a four jaw, a six jaw. We think we're good, and then I still have the original, you know. I got another three jaw, a, uh, a little smaller one for smaller stuff. But that right there will do most of what all the rest of them will do except for the four jaw. I still want to have a good four jaw you can dial things in on. That works. All right. Thanks for joining me on this second part. It's, it's short. I got to get to work on a generator and a couple other uh, things. And those will be coming up soon too. Alright, love you all. Take care. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.